you don't have to be a size two to be successful. You don't have to be skinny to be successful. Today I have with me Tamika Wilson. Tamika, welcome to our episode of Soul Talks with Alka. Hello, how are you today? Good, Tamika, I'm so excited to have you here because we all have this false image of you look in the mirror and you're like, ugh, that five pounds I could lose, that 10 pounds I could lose. If I only had that, then I would be successful. If I only did this, my photos would come out okay. But you're here to tell us why that's not the truth. <laughs> Definitely not the truth. Um, no matter what size you, you'll see yourself in through your own eyes and other people see something different, no matter what. So you have to be comfortable with yourself mainly and then everybody else will fall in place. <laughs> yeah, so how did you get that confidence? Um, a hundred percent not sure. Um, <laughs> I believe my mother and my grandparents really instilled in me like, it's okay to just be you. You don't have to worry about being nobody else. Um, kind of story. My mother is six feet tall and was slender growing up, but you know, I didn't get those genes. So, <laughs> so I lived into being who I am and just believe I had people around me that really had great spirits. And even though they weren't a size two, they dressed and they went out and they did everything everybody else did. So I thought, okay, if they do it, I can do it too. <laughs> so you never looked in the mirror and said, oh, I wish I was a size two. I wish I was a size five, six. I was a size 10. Like, you know, any of those sizes, it's it's not relativist to the size. Everyone has that self-image, right? No yes. matter what size you are. No, for some reason, um, no matter what size you are, you always want to be something different. Yes. So everybody that's a size two wants to be a size eight because they want the curves. So <laughs> <laughs> instead of size 10 or 12, we'd be like, oh, maybe a few size smaller. You can lose the weight, but if your confidence inside still feel that you're overweight, you're not going to feel comfortable, no matter mm. what you what size you are. So it's all really about loving yourself and feeling good about yourself. So how did you love yourself? I told my mother I can wear anything I want to wear. I don't care what size I was. <laughs> okay. Um, I truthfully I was able to do a lot being young. Like I got to play in a band early and travel and. Um, do a lot of different things. So I think being versatile allowed me to say, oh, I can do that too. That's not, nothing's going to stop me. You know, um, even being a cheerleader in high school and middle school, you know, usually it was always the tall girls or really slender girls being cheerleaders. And I made the squad. I think that was one of the things like, oh, okay. I'm, wow. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But you're, now you're also a model. Yes. <laughs> right. And how did you get into, so generally everybody says, like I have a friend whose daughter's a, you know, five feet, seven inches and size four. And she goes to a modeling agency and they're like, well, you really need to be five, nine and you need to be a size two, yeah. but you're a model. What, how did, how did you break into that? And <laughs> what did you, so I, what I want you to do is give girls hope out there. I understand. Um, you just have to not take no, there is some bumpy roads. Not going to say that every day and everything I went to was very easy. I, I was blessed. I came in a time where they were looking for more, I guess you can say everyday models or lifestyle models where they can see themselves. It wasn't right. no more you did be a zero to size two. You know, that was kind of being played out a little. They're still there. Don't get me wrong. Still there. Yes. <laughs> so a lot of times when I went on auditions, I would always come in in my heels. Never came flat foot because that would be a no, no. Mm -hmm. um, so they really didn't know how tall I was and they really didn't have a chance to analyze me to see how tall I was. So yeah. At the time, I would just walk on in and do my walk and walk out, and I kind of stand their attention. So I think that's what got me through. Mm. Always coming in ready, not looking nervous, not looking like I don't belong. So it helped me. It's a lot with the confidence. I believe you. It's a lot with the confidence. <laughs> yes, you kind of went there thinking you're going to get it. Yes, it was no. It was no question. It was not like oh, I maybe not, or maybe not. I'm those I felt I couldn't do, I wouldn't go to those auditions. Got it. If I felt like, oh, on every, believe me, on every app, on everything, it said you had to be 5'7", five, 5'9", five, and up. It never said 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, ever. <laughs> <laughs> never. So I definitely came in with my heels. So when you looked at me, I looked 5'7", from a distance. I looked 5'8". It's like three-inch heels always make you look. Yeah, always look, yes. Uh -huh. And you just got to stand up straight and just act like you belong there. You know how do you go and like, yeah. hey, I'm here. I'm a model. My name is Tamika. And just walked in and it was like, okay. And then they see my walk and it's like, oh, okay. So, you know, they didn't have no reason to doubt me. Now, later on when we were coming with flats, I'm like, 
you looked a lot taller <laughs> in your pictures. Yeah, I did. But by that time, they already loved me. So it's nothing they can do. That's right. <laughs> but you also acted in a movie? Yes. Um, like I said, I've been blessed. Um, when you start in the industry, you always want more. That's the yes. thing when I was talking about that. Yes. No matter what you are or where you are at, you actually always want to do something more. Yes. So um, I got one of the girls I knew, we were doing some photos and actually she was like, oh, one of my friends is doing a video shoot. Um, Come up. Okay. No problem. Late at night, <laughs> you go to New York. It's Trey Songs. I'm like, oh, okay. Let's so I'm in that video and then... Um, another meeting, one of the guys from that set was like, oh, I know this person that does, um, movies. She's a agent. She's looking for background work for, um, a movie they're doing in Brooklyn. Send, send your resume, send your picture. Okay. Did it. Got it. I was like, oh, okay. So like I said, you, you try, you never know what you're going to get. That's you right. have to be willing to try. Yeah. And okay to take no. If they say no, be like, all right, the next one. So how did you handle your no's? Everybody gets no. And not, they're not all yeses. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. They're not all yeses. Yeah. Um, it pushes me to prove them wrong. That mm-hmm. I'm going to, when they see me do something else, now they want me. They want me to be on the set. No, that's okay. Thank you. You know, very nicely, but I, I've got past that point. So you just got to remember that it's okay for them to say no. You may not fit what they want. Does not mean you're not good. It just means you don't fit what they're looking for at this point, moment. And maybe later down the line, they will find a spot for you or that you fit into. Just keep pushing at it. Nice. That, that's <laughs> very important. It's yes. not about you. It's no. about the fit. Yes. It's about them themselves. Because a lot of times when you see acting, oh, they're looking for a certain stereotype. You're looking for what they thought in their mind when they wrote it. Um, they have to find that person. And sometimes they're able to dibble and dabble and change it mm. if they really like in your personality. So don't give up. They may not find what they're looking for. And then not that they're settling. They're getting better than what they expected. That's oh. what I look at. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your dialogue when you talk to yourself? What is your dialogue when you are speaking? Um, I am Tamika with a J. So I am special. <laughs> Yes. I am unique and I am different. I'm not supposed to be like everyone else. So I don't supposed to look like her. I'm not supposed to be six feet tall like my mother. I'm supposed to be just where I am. That and, that, and that's you say that to your, is that your dialogue every day? That is day? my dialogue. Yep. I am Tamika with a J. I'm supposed to be special. Ask my mother. I actually say that to her too. I'm like, listen, it's a J that makes me do stuff. I just jump around. <laughs> I jump around. <laughs> I am special and I am unique. <laughs> that's really good. I have to be because I mean... There's so many people with um, the same name or the same style, you know, so, you know, when you grow up to be a little different, people tend to pick on you and you think that's a problem because they pick on you. But you have to understand that they're not used to that. They're not used to seeing you. You are special and they don't know what to do with you. So the worst, best thing to do is to pick on you to give you down to their level. So keep rising. Keep shining. <laughs> wow. So you talked about, were you ever bullied? Um, A little but I think I, I just brushed it off. I really don't remember to me people not liking me. If okay. they did, I did it from afar. <laughs> they're probably jealous. Yeah, they're like, oh, she, look at her. Yes. But my mother always let me explore. Like I said, I got to be in the band. I played the flute at a young age. You wouldn't expect me to play a flute. Yeah, I don't see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. Drum stuff, yes. Yes. So I got to try different things and be around different people. So I, I think I adapted well. So I'm mm-hmm. just doing different things. But you're, now you're doing something else, right? <laughs> so talk to us about that. It's like your list just doesn't end. What you want to do with yourself doesn't end. No, and that's what I mean. The way you are, you may say, I want to be a size eight. When you get to a size eight, now you want to be something different. So right. make it small goals, then to big goals. So every little bit helps. And as I said, the versatility. Like I, I always been in the industry in kind of doing makeup and stuff like that but it was just for me as a model because I didn't like everybody's makeup like everyone could touch me look <laughs> you get to some of these shows and they're not to knock on them they're new they're learning we all have to start somewhere but you know your own face you know what you like to look like yeah. so as a brand of myself I wouldn't just go out on stage looking how they want they want yeah not how I'm not gonna say bad how they want me to look. Yeah. so I had would change my look sometimes and from there on I grew and I got into competitions. I love modeling competitions. They're the best. Um, Because that's when it's about you. As a model, it's about the designer, who you're working with, the brand. 
and selling their stuff. So when you do competitions, it's mostly about you. Mm -hmm. And being the center of attention, like, oh, I get to do what I want to do. I get to walk. I get to wear stuff. I get to do everything. I started doing those. And I won one in 2014. And I got a chance to go to Paris with one of the magazines I was working with. So yes, I worked on magazines. Um, and they gave me a great opportunity. And I got to go to Black Fashion Week and see different fashions and things like that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Damn, you have a flair. Right? Yes. Me and my girlfriend always joke about we're going to move to flat Paris. I think she's going to move before me. I don't think I'm going to get through it. Um, <laughs> but then it was like, okay, I wanted something for myself. So then I started my own cosmetic line. Wow. And, yeah. So it was more about helping people and helping. First, it started women. I won't fit, but it started women and growing into now men and women. But you, I know how I felt the first time I got a a makeover. I did a hair show and the way you see my pictures, I felt so great. I wanted to give that back to people. Aww. Like I tell people, when I talk to them about, it's not about the makeup. It's about how you feel when you put on the makeup, how you feel about yourself. Yes. And that joy for just even a day or a moment is the greatest joy I can give somebody. Nice. And I, that's my love. That's <laughs> so, so sweet. Now I'm doing makeup and traveling, doing makeup, um, building the brand. Um, and I also got, you know, it's not just about the women. It's men too. Sometimes they're going through a lot. They take care of their kids or their household, just like women. You yeah. know, they don't get to take care of themselves. They don't get to do nothing for themselves. Yeah. So it's more about that, taking that time. Whatever you love to do or you want to do, take the time to do it. If it's yes. writing, if it's singing, even if you're a bad singer, Take time, some lessons, do yeah. something just for you. Yes. And the kids to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> the parents to be okay. Yes. <laughs> the job will be okay. You come back to it, but have one thing just for yourself. Nice. So what is your line of cosmetics called? It's C Diamonds Cosmetics. C Diamonds Cosmetics. Yes. And if, are you online also? Yes. So if someone wanted to, what is your website? CDiamondsCosmetics.com. Nice. So the motto is see the diamond within yourself. So that's what it's about. Again, it's all about taking care of yourself and knowing who you are. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's a, so for someone who is, you know, a girl, a young girl mm -hmm. who is a teenager, who's struggling with her body image, with her, with the pimples on her face, with all of the going through. And then we go to adults mm -hmm. and we all have them, right? Whether yes. you're 20 year old, 30 year old, 50 year old, 40 year old. You always want to go through something. Something. Don't think, don't think that, oh, it's just me. And that's the thing we don't talk a lot. When you're going through something, you kind of keep it to yourself. You're embarrassed. You don't want anybody to know. Find a girlfriend, find some friends, or even a guy friend that you can feel comfortable enough to talk to. Um, everyone said, oh, go to your parents. Everyone's not comfortable to their parents. So it's always auntie or yeah. a friend of the family auntie, you know, yeah. somebody that you're able to understand it's not just you. Yeah. Because so many young kids and young girls, unfortunately, are bullied or... yes feel ashamed because they got a bigger hip. And I was, I won't say like a lot of my friends were younger and they were really skinny. When I look at my pictures now, I was skinny too, but <laughs> I had a little bit more shape and it was like, I was more talked about. And I'm like, but I'm just another little kid. I didn't understand how a grown up would think of me or look at me, you know, yeah. as being thick or anything. I'm just like, I'm just a kid. I'm not in that mindset and it's okay for them to be innocent yeah, and don't take that from them. And that's one thing that us as grown ups sometimes do. We take the innocence from kids because we're thinking about what someone else went through, what else someone else said. Yeah. Let the kid be a kid. They're going to go through their, their their products and their issues and they're going to grow from them and understand, okay, so it's not just me. Yeah. <laughs> so advice to adults for kids and advice to kids for kids <laughs> and advice to adults for adults. So these are three pieces of advice you're going to have to give me. Right. I can do that. Okay. Kids for kids, it's okay to be awkward. It's okay to not know everything. It's okay to feel ashamed. It's part of living. For parents to kids, <laughs> don't always put your thoughts and mind on them. They don't think like that. They don't understand that. They haven't gone through it yet to be able to get there. See the diamond in them. Yes. Know that they're special. Yeah. Don't always say, oh, don't do this because you're going to be this. Don't do that. Give them hope of why they can, they may can do it later. Mm -hmm. um, me and my mother talked about it. We talked about it one time, like, why didn't I start modeling younger? Um, at that time, unfortunately, it was all about size two, <laughs> skinny, um, and they didn't want me to be anorexic and things like that. But that's your mindset. Doesn't mean that's what I was going to go through. Yeah. You have to just help them get to the, where they want to be. Yes. You can't be scared all the time. It's scary, but you got to hold your scariness in. <laughs> that's true. Very true. <laughs> now, grown-ups and grown-ups, 
love yourself. Do something for yourself. Don't always just give it to kids. A lot of times we give everything to our children because what we didn't have for ourselves and we forget to give to ourselves. We only have one life to live. So live it. <laughs> That's <Live> awesome. It. <laughs> Find the diamond in yourself. Too. Yes. After going through so much and you can reinvent yourself. You can like I went from modeling to acting to makeup to who knows what's next, you know? Yes. <laughs> so yes. you can always reinvent yourself every day. Like yes. if you're not happy today and something you don't like, you don't have to bash yourself about it. You get to fix it. Yeah. You get to wake up the next morning, a new morning and start over. Yeah. And you can just, no one knows you. So yes. they don't know if that was you yesterday. It's okay. <laughs> Especially with Facebook now. It's it definitely gives <laughs> me somebody else. <laughs> exactly. And you have social media is so powerful. You have such an opportunity to do something for yourself if yes. you want to. So, it, And if somebody needs advice from Tamika, I'm going to volunteer her. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel free to call her because she's, when I asked her to do this, she was like, you know what? If I can help one person have a better self-image, I am okay for this. This is what I am about. Yeah. So this is what she is. And she really is someone who sees the diamond in herself. Definitely. She walks in that way. She sat down that way and she spoke that way. Yeah. Tamika, thank you so much for coming on Soul Talks with Alka. Thank we you. really hope that someone benefits from what you yes. have to say. They can always reach me. Um, if not on Facebook, on Instagram, I am always available. You can email me. I am okay with that. And on all my social medias has my phone number. If you want to text me, I have no problem. Answer the phone sometimes a little rough, but I'm really quick with answering your text messages. If I can help anybody. See Diamonds Cosmetics, you can reach out to me. Um, Tamika spelled T-J-A-M-E-I-K-A. Wilson, you will be able to find that one. That's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so if I ever can help somebody, I like doing makeovers. I like doing makeup, you know, teaching folks, whatever I can do. Listen, someone help me. So I want to help someone else. Thank you so much, Tamika. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Soul Talks with Alka. We'll see you next week. Thank you.